keeping an eye on Melissa. Ooh, talk yeah. big eye. <laughs> so much about this. That's yeah. right. I, I mean, all storms in the future for Jamaica will be compared to this one, and it's hitting today in just a matter of hours. Look at the eye of the storm from this satellite image. Hurricane hunters that went in there to try to investigate more of the storm had to turn around which is not unheard of, but unusual because of the storm strength and fierceness. They just had to protect themselves. Let's look at this tropical satellite. Another image where you see the eye of the storm, a category five, unusual to see a category five hold together this long. I mean, it's been more than 24 hours. It's only increased from yesterday morning when it started a category five is 160 miles an hour. It's 175 mile an hour winds and you see the size of the storm. This is the wind field of the storm. So the area of red is where you have hurricane force winds and you see the area of yellow tropical storm force winds, which are encompassing the entire island of Jamaica by 8 830 this morning. We expect those hurricane force winds to hit Jamaica and then watch this at 12 1 o'clock when it'll be making landfall right around the midday hour. You can see the hurricane force winds encompassing the entire width of the island still at 530 getting that hurricane force winds 530 this evening still in Jamaica. So it's just under siege, battering it for so long because it's moving so slowly and it picked up a little bit. It's now five miles an hour. It was two earlier, so it's only moving five miles an hour, likely at two o'clock this afternoon, 165 mile an hour winds less than it is now, but that's still a cat five and then a category four as it faces Cuba and moving beyond that. So Matt, a major storm we will be watching, one for the history books. Right now it is the strongest storm on earth.